Oh my goodness. This is exhausting, so y'all just gonna have to see the after. So, neighbor's here. Hi. <laughs> she's eating on my couch. She's on your couch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're ha we're putting the boys to work. Yeah. <laughs> Tiger's bomb on this. Ugh. 
I cannot, like, I get, I promise you every single time, like, since I've been here in Houston, my face has been pimpling and all that. Like, it's been giving me zits and pimples, and it's just, like, don't want me to be a beautiful woman, but guess what? I'm still beautiful with my pimples. Okay. We have a lot to do today. So, me and my boyfriend are going to get this crap done. <laughs> However much, because I already know when he starts working tomorrow, he ain't gonna be helping me, y'all. So, I'm gonna do as much as possible. Wish me luck. Hi guys, this is literally the next day. I'm super late. We're actually about to go shopping. It's really 8.15 and the clo store closes at 9.30. Don't ask me why I did that. Let me turn this AC off. You guys, I haven't been eating. I had a migraine. I was, I made me some ramen, but I'm not even feeling it. I kind of just want to go shopping and get this stuff over with. Considering I got a job to start in two weeks, y'all. Mm, yeah, I'm not feeling this. Mm. It's good though, I'm just not, I'm not like eating. Oh my God, guys, we're donating so much stuff. I can't wait to show you, but we're not done. Like, whoever's gonna get my stuff is gonna be so happy. So, I'm gonna find like a random, like, women's shelter and like a homeless shelter. Just to let you guys know, I do not donate to people who are, I don't, I know it may sound messed up. I do not donate to people who are from Salvation Army, Goodwill, because they resell their clothes, okay? I like to donate my clothes personally to people who cannot afford clothes, period. I'm talking about some homeless people. People are going through domestic violence relationships. People who ain't got no job, can't afford nothing. And I have some good quality stuff. So like, I feel like a lot of people just, they donate to the big stuff and they just don't know. Like, like a woman's shelter is for people who literally is going through an abusive relationship and finally decided to leave when they're fed up. And they, they leave everything, you know? So I feel like just, I need to donate to somebody like that. Doing to someone who's just gonna go in in a thrift store and just buy it for four dollars like no i could have did that myself then i could have just put on that for up oh and i found this girl on youtube so i follow her on instagram but this is my first time actually watching her youtube her voice is actually a lot deeper more mature than i expected her name is kyla k key something i don't know if can y'all see this yeah she seems cool dope i like her so far this is my first video of watching her might watch some more she only has 160k um Followers and I actually like YouTube channels that's smaller because everybody else think they're too bougie to talk. Besides Aaliyah, you feel me? That's my homegirl. I gotta go. I'm not bringing y'all with me. That's with me when I come back. Hey guys, so we're actually back and I'm gonna show you what I got from Ross, Home Goods, and Marshalls. So from we're gonna go backwards. From Ross, I actually got my velvet hangers. Velvet hangers, they're ten dollars. I actually got four of these, two for me, two for babe. From Home Goods. I don't know why I got this, y'all. I just, I don't know. I seen a lady messing with it, and I was like, ooh, it goes. I don't know, but it's totally worth it. Can you guys see how pretty that is? And then, obviously, I'm going to put some, you know, put some Q-tips in here. This is really pretty. Like, I love it. But, of course, my favorite thing, and probably mostly your favorite thing, but I don't know what to put in it. Like, comment down below what you think I should put in this. It's, like, literally this. And it twirls, but it has like dividers. But like, what do you put in here? But I just had to get it. <laughs> this is what she was playing with. And I was just like, oh my God, I could totally see this in my bathroom. Cause we're going with the black, gray, and white theme. I just could not, I don't know what I'm gonna put in here though, but I just know it, it fits, you know what I mean? So comment down below, what would you guys put in here? What you think I should put in here? So I got this for the cans in the kitchen. So I can go ahead and throw them around. We're trying to be organized around here, y'all. Then I got one for my perfume, although it says kitchen. I'm gonna literally put this where my perfume is at. 
so I can scroll it around as well and see the options and still like have it together, you know? So I bought me this because I have a job in two weeks. So I decided to go ahead and buy me a nice lunch pile because I thought it was just like so cute. It's big enough. It's nothing too crazy. Because y'all, if y'all don't know, I bring I have like big lunch bags because I eat too much. Like I bring way too much food. We're trying to like minimize here. I plan on eating breakfast at home, having a lunch in a lunch pile, and then coming home and cook dinner, you know? So that's the plan. So I shouldn't have to carry so much food in a big bag. And I'm gonna carry like a separate like purse and everything. So this it's specifically just for food. Hopefully it has a refrigerator because I don't think that it's ice insulated inside. I'm not sure. I also bought my babe a lunch pile because I'm tired of him carrying some plastic bags like he ain't got no common sense. So I try to go like matchy matchy like, you know, like if you see the aesthetic guys, it's like different but the same. I hope you guys can tell. But they're different but the same, okay? We still vibing together but we different, you know? Last but not least, we got our baskets. It's because I just want to be as minimal as possible. It's gray. I was trying to find like a black or white basket because I'm tired of putting gray in this house, but it just was not meant to be y'all. So yeah, and it has like the little flapper. <sighs> it's like a good size on the floor. And I like how it's flat in the back and then round in the front. So you can just put it against the wall and it like looks still aesthetically pleasing. And that is what I went shopping for guys. Help me. I have a problem with spending money, but at the same time, like I just moved, what do you expect, you know? He said that his lunch pile is cute. So you like it, right? Yeah, I like it. I'll use it. You'll use it? Yeah. Is it big enough for you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, surprise you with some plastic containers. Cause you, <laughs> you should see his smile, guys. It's so beautiful. Okay, guys, so I just literally finished this within 2.5 seconds, and I'm already loving it. So it's got to go right here. Y'all see, like, we're going to organize one at a time, y'all. One at a time, but y'all going to see me. You, I don't know if y'all know, but organizers are not cheap. Guys, how cool does this look? Like, oh, my God, I get to choose whatever I want. Oh, let me put this on outside so we know it's chilly. You know? Oh, my God, I'm an organizer. I'm a professional. <laughs> let me show you a little really cool thing about this lunch pal. I feel like it's amazing. It's insulated, one. Two, it has, like, can you see? like this divider right to where if something's hot if something's hot you can put it at the bottom right and you can put the stuff cold at the top or vice versa and then you literally can open the bottom like this how cool and it's separate if you want to zip it can you guys see if you want to zip it so i freaking love this i must have a blast okay i'm about to make this work oh and it came with these containers inside as well little plastic containers that fit that matches my shaker. I'm so happy. Guys, I just finished making dinner. The Spanish rice with some quesadilla, chicken quesadilla. To get our grub on over here. I'll see you guys later.
I literally just got out the shower. It's nighttime. I haven't been vlogging all day. I've been trying to get this house together. It's a freaking mess, if you guys can't tell. This is what we're left with. With all the boxes that we had. I literally have one more box to go. Two. Two more boxes to go because we have this one here with a whole bunch of glass in it. But I told my babe that he has to do that one. Plus he has... Oh, I guess that's it, honestly, because... These two right here are our stools. I don't know if I told you guys our stools got here. I was going to put them together, but I wanted the house to be a lot more straightened than this. Those boxes over there are actually going to need to be taken out to the trash. This is going to go in our storage outside. So is that. This is going to be donated. This is our memory box. Stuff that we want to hold on to from like our childhood because we're both hoarders. We just want to show our grandchildren and just hopefully they can pass it on. Then... It's really dark outside, actually. Outside, I have a donation box, two donation box boxes. So we're doing our thing. We got our little radio here, a little mirror here. Like, I don't, don't mind. Oh, Jesus Lord, this looks so ratchet. Oh my goodness. You feeling a new camera, guys? <laughs> so that's basically what we're doing right now. Right now, I'm about to go and give myself a Brazilian wax because it's been a minute and come back in here hopefully it takes me nothing but like 45 minutes come back in here i have to start on dinner but yeah i have to organize this it's a lot of stuff that i gotta do but i washed my hair i'm actually letting it out right now because i feel like i put my hair in the back ponytail too much to where my hair is starting to like be super more thinner than which was which was okay because i have super thick hair but now it's like okay i feel like i'm losing the thickness of my hair so i'm actually letting it down letting it breathe because my hair honey so we're gonna see what we look like when we're done but let me go wax and then i'll be back Okay, guys, we are back. Probably about an hour later, we're done waxing, y'all. Actually, wasn't that bad. I feel like I'm really getting used to this waxing stuff. I didn't really hesitate much on pulling any hairs in like the mid area. If you want to see a video of me waxing myself, just go ahead and look at my content. It's in my pop most popular videos right now. So yeah, we're about to literally cook dinner. I don't know if I'm about to show you guys me cooking, but I am about to show you the end results. We're about to make some chicken breast with some mozzarella and pesto. Ooh, my man's here. Can we go drive? Huh? Can we go drive so you don't have to walk back? Okay, guys, here's dinner. It's the baked chicken pesto with mozzarella, spinach, and of course, mashed potatoes with cheese on it because I'm obsessed. I have an obsession with, uh, obsession with cheese, guys, if you guys haven't noticed yet. But I'm about to get the grub on. I don't know if y'all can see me or not. But basically, we're about to get my boyfriend's hair done. I'm really tired. It's like 8 o'clock in the damn morning like who in the hell if you ain't got no job you should not be up this early <laughs> yeah so we're just sitting here waiting because i guess she said um to give her a second hopefully his hair comes out good so my boyfriend didn't read the policy she said and this is her house y'all she was like yeah only one of you guys can come in excuse me and luckily like covid's still around but not really like covid's still around you know like this delta variant thing or whatever has popped off and then she doesn't want me to come in it's kind of like girl i don't know like if his hair don't turn out hella good you don't have to go to someone else because i'm gonna i want to go inside like what you got my man and somebody else i know it's just to get your hair braided but you got my man in somebody's stranger house okay and I'm not allowed inside, girl. I'm gonna let y'all know. That was a mistake. <laughs> uh, tell me why this uh five braid hairstyle took her five hours? Sorry, not five hours, five hours. It took us two hours, two whole hours. My guy, the guy that was coming in. Two hours, huh? What are you looking at me like I did my hair? Let me show. Can y'all see? Hold on. Do you guys think this was worth two hours? It's cute though. I'll give you that. Hey guys, we're back at the house after a nap, of course. You guys, I'm telling you, having no job, you just be asleep. 
have no routine you just be sleep so basically what i got from ross i'm just gonna show you i've got me a strainer just because like i don't know i'm kind of feeling like pasty -y. i want to know how to make like spaghetti but like the black people way like where it's not too saucy but it's not dry and it's like cheesy and it's just like on hit because i don't know how to make it that way honestly like because my mom makes hers like super saucy and i don't like it saucy and then i tried to make my own spaghetti and it came out like kind of saucy but not too saucy but it still wasn't like hidden so i didn't like really like it either so if y'all got like, a link where i could get some like black people spaghetti going you know the kind the kind that you guys get from like a barbecue where it's like in a pan it's like cheese on top or even if you like scoop it up it's like still like i don't know maybe that's what it is Maybe I need to put it in the pan. Anyways, let me just stop talking y'all with my big old mouth. Obviously, I'm up. <laughs> I got these glasses and I op it was already kind of like open. So I need to rinse them, like wash them before I put them up. But I wanted to make sure. So I took this one anyways, only because like I wanted to make sure that they weren't broken anyways. But I'm going to show you what all oh, my baby they look like. Can you guys see? Cause I've been looking for like wine glasses, guys. I've been looking for freaking wine glasses, but for some odd reason, people like to have like huge wine glasses. It's just like, dang, like how much are you guys drinking? You guys are insane. So yeah, I'm about to rinse those out, dry them myself and put them inside my cabinet. I'm gonna organize our seasonings, get like this house together because my cousin says she wants to come over and see the house and it's kind of like, girl no but i'm bored and i want company but my house is like nowhere here together like it's a hot mess like she was better off coming when we didn't have nothing now we got like our boxes and stuff everywhere so hopefully i can get it straightened out as much as possible and then put the stools together so she has somewhere to sit somewhere to sit besides the couch and plus we like to eat together me and my man and yeah i just want to get everything together i think i might have to replace papa's um litter though but yeah so let's get started i'm actually pretty excited guys this is a finishing product i'm actually okay with it i'll figure that out later i'm just i'm too short so this is where we're gonna put the bread and stuff honestly hopefully it doesn't go bad so yeah all of like the tortillas and the bread will like be up here i know it's kind of like a weird area but that's just what i wanted and then plus over here so i kind of like categorize it by brand so i have like the mccormick winco this is kind of like similar in sizing and plus i have like all the glass ones here with the Good and gather like the different glasses are here plus we have our kinders in the back we have a mccormick as well but this is a darker brand i wonder if i should put this honestly i probably should have switched these but it doesn't matter all of the walmart brand the great value is in the middle and then we have our badia or badia in the back of course mccormick as well but these are the bigger ones so and then up there is kind of like just like the rest of them organized and i'm actually pretty proud of my work and yeah let's go on to the next activity And just look how amazing this looks. Oh my goodness, I love it. These chairs are giving. They look purple a little bit with the lighting, but it's gray. I promise you it's gray. So what are we currently about to do is just throw all of these purses on the floor that I have on top of a closet. Um, and then, yeah, we're just worried about just putting things up more than like getting like really organized with it just cause I want everything out the way. As I said, not organized at all but just out of the way and i'm super short y'all so hopefully we can fix that later So I literally just finished 
the bathroom. Help, ooh, is she poking? So was the rose, y'all. Anyways, so I literally just have to unpack the makeup, which I probably won't do today. The next mission is to do the room, but isn't it so cute? Okay, so T. This right here is the roller, right? And I just, I don't know what to put in that. So if you guys have like a better idea, because it does have like little dividers inside, as I've seen, as you've seen previously, let me know, but this is the best idea that I can come with for now, just to like, I don't know, but it's not, it's not giving, but it's enough right now. Oh, and here, I should have did like this, but I did it backwards, the Q-tips in the back and the, cotton balls in the front but it should have been sideways but it's okay it doesn't matter I'll fix it next time and then I put the soap in here it just looks so classy okay for me it's giving this is current status of when you move across the state not only do you have to unpack boxes but you have to unpack your travel bag from traveling so this is a mess and it's stressful and I don't want to do it but clearly I'm going to do it I ain't got no choice I want to phone my mom say hi mom <laughs> you guys, I cut myself so bad. Oh my god, that's blood dripping. I cut myself really bad. Don't be like me and just let let things look at that. Let things defrost. Don't be like me. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? Oh my god. No, I'm gonna need to mess up a towel. I need a microfiber towel. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, it's dripping. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my meat. Oh no. Oh wait, I don't know if this is... Ew, I got more on the floor. All right. Uh, I got so much blood on the floor. Gosh. F-U-C-K, F-U-C-K. I need band-aids. I don't have any band-aids. O-M crisis. This is insane. It's a deep cut. I told, something told me not to do that, and I did it anyways, or at least move my hand or something. I didn't think it was going to happen so fast. Hey. You got some peroxide up there? No, we don't have any. What happened? I cut myself really bad trying to cook for this man. She cut herself really bad. Uh, let's see, we've got liquor, paper towels, and tape. <laughs> no, so. You do it military style. No. Found an ear sparring. And this triple antibiotic oatmeal, ointment, band-aids, and my babe wants to put a alcoholic cotton ball on me, which I feel like doesn't need to be done. My mom's not picking up for me to look like find out, so I might just have to do it. Oh my God, I smell the alcohol. Please pick up. Do you understand the pain? Have you ever did that before? Put alcohol on a cut? Okay, so this is disgusting. So, and I think I cut myself right here too on the side. I see my meat. Oh, I see my meat, y'all. Woo! I seen it. Oh, come on, daddy. Woo! Come on! No, you need to put another one on there. It burns. It's gonna come off because it's in your palm. It's okay. I have plenty of more band aids. It's gonna burn. Down, middle of the sink. Right here. I'm good. Put your <laughs> hand all the way down on the sink. Like put it all the way down on the sink. Right there. Do you want to take a shot of it before you? Uh, it's good for you. Take a shot of it first. If you want to, just move it. I'm scared. Don't be. Put it down. Move. I'm scared. Move Come on, get over there. Okay. Okay. He said it's gonna burn. Yeah. It's gonna burn. It's gonna burn. It's gonna burn. Just move your it's arm. It's gonna burn. It's gonna burn. Maybe can you grab that arm a little bit? Okay, okay. Yeah. She'll behave. Maybe. Move it. I'm gonna scream, right? Probably. All right. Okay. <sighs> Yum. Woo! All right. Hey, look, we do have stuff.
Alright, I'm up. Run down. Thank you. Oh, I went up. Oh, I forgot to get the pill. I went upstairs to go get an antibiotic, y'all. And then literally as soon as I got upstairs, my hand just started splurging like into my neighbors. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to put it in the sink. And then like blood was like literally just squirting out. Like, oh my gosh, I rinsed my hand. Like I had a whole like guap of blood in my hand. And it just, he poured alcohol on it. It wasn't fun, but it wasn't as hard as I thought it was. You know, I have to, you know, when you make yourself so like nervous that it wasn't that bad, that's how it was. It wasn't that bad. And I got bandaged up, but I swear my hand, can y'all see? It's turning purple. Like, am I being dramatic? T tell me my hand is not a little purple. Like, it just, it's, I don't know if it's like an infection. I ain't got no insurance, y'all. Okay. One of my friends was like, oh my God, go to the doctor tomorrow. Who what insurance? Hmm? You think I'm about to just walk up into doctors and they charge me $5,000 for something like this? I better suck it up. I better suck it up, honestly, because, no. Can you guys see me? Let me try to talk to you guys. But there's better lighting for me. Okay, guys. I look a mess, but that's what's new. I'm not okay. No. <laughs> People be asking me if I'm okay. I don't know if I ever told you guys, like, what happened. But I basically freaking got a sharp freaking knife. Not this one, to be dramatic, but, like, the smaller one. Oh, right here. I grabbed it out of the sink. This is a brand new freaking knife and I had half frozen patties and I just freaking like, you know, like the first time, and something right before it happened was like, Tatiana, you're gonna cut yourself. But then I was gonna, I didn't think it was gonna go through the, the first time. I thought I was gonna be able to move my hand for the second time, you know what I mean? But it went straight through and I just started yanking everywhere, like <laughs> blood everywhere. You guys seen? <laughs> you seen, right? Oh my God, I freaking yelled like, Bang! Hey, but he's in the middle of taking a shit. <laughs> he's just like coming out. He's good. <laughs> oh my god. Blood start gushing. I was trying to get it to like calm down and it did. Neosporin, band aids. I'm pretty sure I told you guys. Went upstairs and blood just started gushing all over my neighbors. And it was just like, I ain't got no insurance, y'all. I got no insurance. People ask me what I'm doing. Oh, go to the doctor. Y'all gonna pay for my medical bill? You're gonna pay for my medical bill because guess what? This girl ain't got no insurance over here. And I ain't got money. Okay? I'm gonna last disbursement of unemployment and I got two more weeks until my start date. So we're just gonna have to rock. I just hope I don't catch an infection because I grabbed a knife from the from the sink. I'm pretty sure I don't know what I use it for, honestly. It's not it wasn't like dirty dirty, but it wasn't clean. Just stupid, just stupid. So now I'm in here trying to make some eggs and I don't not a freaking crack eggs with one hand. I'm struggling guys like and it hurts. It hurts like a B-I-T-C-H. I'm not even gonna lie, like it freaking hurts. I'm in my freaking granny gown. I just feel disabled. I can't do nothing. Um, although I'm left-handed, I do a lot of stuff with my right. So it's hard for me to do things. I'm trying to make me some breakfast. You wanna watch me struggle? I'm trying to put some eggs in there. I just know it's gonna fail. It's gonna fail.